if you didn't erase your board, don't erase it all. If you did already, that's all right. No. Hold on. Okay. Let's bring it back. Not to not to scare anybody or to freak anybody out, but here's going to be the big jump for today. Maybe that's going to be my theme. I'm only going to do one big jump a day or one super challenge a day. All the challenge. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Same rules, you're still going down the same path. You still want to get to your answer. You're still going to subtract your fractions first. One fifth minus two fifths. Now, pretend, pretend that the fifths weren't there. Let's go back to just that whole idea that really we're talking about one minus two. Can you do that? No. No. You cannot have only one dollar and try to spend two. Watch what we're going to do. This is where the magic is going to happen. How many people like helpers? How many people like to help? Or how many people like being helped? Here's your chance. Here's your chance. We're going to talk about how we help, how numbers can help each other in math. Because this little fraction guy, little one-fifth over there, he's not big enough. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. Here's an example. Hey, look here. This is exactly what's happening. If we start in the ones place, one minus two, we can't do it, so we... Borrow. We borrow. We, 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 but I we borrow. borrow. Exactly. exactly. We borrow. So that's what it would look like in whole numbers. It looks a little bit different in the land of fractions. Let's, let me show you what I mean. By the way, great job, Kendall. So keep that down. And then I'll have you explain it in a little bit, because obviously you know something that I wish. So here we go. Hey, listen, listen closely. This is huge. Just like that one went to the two for help, this fraction is going to go to the two. Guys, please stick with me. Please stick with me. Just like this fraction is going to go to the two to get help. And I'm going to take away one hole. That means I have one hole left, right? I started with two. I took one away. Capiche? Perfect. Hold on. Hold on. No, no, no. Hold on. Now, I'm going to take one of those whole, I just took a whole weight, and I'm going to cut it into how many pieces? Five. five. So this one whole just became five, five. what? What's my denominator? Five. Five fifths. Five fifths. And I'm going to add those five fifths to my one fifth. Six. Six. Bingo. Exactly. Can you now do your subtraction? Six yes. fifths minus two fifths? Yes. Okay, our, our fifths is going to stay the same. What's our basic fact? Six minus two is? Four. 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 Now we look at our whole numbers. Zero. One minus one is? Zero. Two. Zero. Perfect. Nope. That'd be plus. And guys, it's important not to forget to add this when you figure this out. Because you forget to add this, your answer is going to be all whacked, whacked up, okay? Just like you wouldn't do that, Yeah. we wouldn't just go, oh, it's 10. No, it's 10 plus the 2 you already have. It's not just 10, it's 12. It's not just 5, it's the 5 plus the 1 we already have making 6. Anybody feel like crying? No. Yeah. Okay. That's okay if you do. It's all right. So. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Holy moly. Okay. Um, so it'd be five. Great job today, fifth graders. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you homework. Listen. Listen carefully. I'm going to give you homework. But. If any of them involve that subtracting, where you have to regroup or borrow, 
I'm giving you permission to skip those for now. If you want to try them, try them. 